Hello, I know it's been a long time since the last video, but this tutorial is very special because I'm going to explain how to work on an interior scene and how to make a, a light, perfect lighting in Adobe Photoshop. So as you can see here, we have a light source, but we don't have that reality. And also I'm going to explain how to replace this photo with another photo to make it more beautiful or as you like, you could do whatever you want. Even you could uh, just make this in 3D Max or any other softwares and you could replace it in Photoshop. So as you can see here, I have this interior scene and also I have another perfect art here for Zaha Hadid. Uh, so I will start with the light source and how to work with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to duplicate this layer. How? Either right click and duplicate layer or there is another option which is select this layer and press Ctrl and J from the keyboard. So Ctrl and J for uh, sorry duplicating the layer. As you can see here now I have layer one. So the first step I'm going to do is I will zoom in and I will go to lasso tool either pressing from keyboard L it will take me to lasso tool or go here the third option and choose the polygonal lasso tool why so let's zoom in more um, I want to work on this source on this uh, area so I'll go to lasso tool again I'll just select it By the way, why I duplicate the layer? I duplicate it because I want to work on another layer. So if I did any mistake, I could uh, delete the new layer or make a, another uh, different options. So as you can see, I just select the area I want and I will do something which show you uh, how to make a perfect light source to work with interior scenes. So please focus. Now after selecting this one, I have to go to and make new layer, as you can see by clicking here, it's beside the delete tool. So by clicking here and after that go to this option, then go to curve. What is this? So as you can see, if I increase it, it will show me a white. It gives me a white. If I uh, decrease it, it will show me either red or until black. So I will make it white for now and I will zoom out. As you can see, if I hide this layer, I got a white color. Now I will go to, I wanna make it more realistic, not just like this. So I will go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now, as you can see here, this is the source. So, if I make it 0.1, so nothing happened. If I increase it, let's make it 5. I really love this result, 5. So as you can see, it's now uh, just like blurry. So let's click OK. I want to change the color of it. So I will go to FX here for effects, then color over layer. Now you can change the color. So let's make it just like, uh, let's zoom out. Zoom out, by, zoom out by clicking Ctrl and minus from the keyboard. So as you can see, now it's red, not, not nice. So I will choose another color to make it uh, nicer and more beautiful. So I will select this one. Not orange, not yellow. So now this is a very nice result. Now, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you also how to copy the effects that I supplied for the layer itself. For example, I want to copy this effects and put it on another layer because I want to make another light source here. So I'll go to Lasso Tool again. I will create a new layer from the beginning. So I will make the light just going as a triangle here. So I'll go to Lasso Tool. I'll select this area. 
I'll put this is my last tool. Sorry. And that's it. So as I said, I'll go here, then curves, then make it white. As you can see here now, it's very ugly. I'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, as I explained before on the first step. It's the same steps. I will keep it, let's say, I will increase it this time because it's okay. Now, this result is very nice. Let's make it 34, it's very nice. So now I'll change the color of it. How? I don't want to go to face and color over layer and so on. So I'll just copy the effects here. Right click on the first layer, which is the curves. And copy layer style. Copy layer style, it means copy the effects that you supply on it. So for example, we just made the text, for example. So I make stroke on the text, another color, special color, special effects. Just by heading copy layer style, I will get everything the same. Now paste layer style, as you can see. But now it's very clear. So how I, how I, how do I have to make it more realistic? So just go to opacity and decrease it. So if I make it zero, nothing happened, nothing shown. I will make it just like 59. 59 is a very nice result and 9 is my favorite number so that's very nice now we finish the first step now the second step as I promised to how to replace this photo with another photo as I told you before I have a new art here I just prepare it before the lesson so I will replace it with this one so first thing I'm going to do is to select this area I will go to lasso tool. Actually, I work with lasso tool too much, so I think it's the best tool in Photoshop. So I'll go to lasso tool and I'll zoom in more L from keyboard. Actually, I really like to work with shortcuts, whether it was Photoshop or AutoCAD or even any other softwares. So. I will select as whole, then here I'm going, okay that's it. Now I will select the first layer, not here, because I'm, I'm working with the main scene, which is the interior one. So I will select the layer one, the layer that I duplicate the first time, and I will hit Control J to duplicate it, or right click. Uh, Actually, in this step, I can't make right click on duplicate layer because I will duplicate the main scene, not this one, not the selected area. So I'll hit Ctrl and J from keyboard. As you can see here, I have new layer, which is this one, only the picture. So for example, let's go to the main layer and I will make it with red color. Okay, now I have only this layer. So I will just go back one step by hitting Alt, Control, and Z from keyboard. So now I'm going to get this art, and I will get it here. So I will make it a little bit smaller, and I will zoom in, because now I want to work with the perspective mode. I will hit Control, sorry, uh, there's something I didn't explain it. Click Ctrl and T to make it smaller or bigger, bigger, sorry. And just hit Shift from keyboard to make it smaller on scale. So, and click Enter. Now, bring it here. I will zoom it, uh, I will make it smaller. Now, as you can see here, I will zoom in. Just hit Ctrl from the keyboard. 
and bring this one here keep clicking on control don't leave it bring this one here also go down and bring this one here now hit enter from keyboard now as you can see here i have this photo but uh, it it hides the chair so how can i uh, work with this problem so i will go to here which is the the main layer that i duplicated for the main photo which is this cow okay i will go to my new art and i will or new picture and i will hit alt control and j yeah sorry g alt control and g it makes the a new photo inside the the main photo so as you can see here now it's realistic this is very nice it gives me a new color on what else we have now let's work with this one we have this light source it's black how do i have to make it white this is very easy as i explain here how i make this light and that's it thank you for watching this lesson and bye bye